Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. In the first part of the calendar problems, we found how to find the day for normal year. Now in this type, we are going to first start discussing about how to find the day for a leap year. So how did we do it? The first step, as usual, we have the first five steps. So first we have to take the last two digit. So the question that they've asked is what was the day of the week on 29th Feb 2012? which is obviously a leap year, last two digits of the year, so which is 12. Next step is divided by 4. So if we divide 12 by 4, we know that the answer is quotient is 3, so we will put it here. Next is the date, so what is the date that they have given? 29. So next is the month number, so February corresponds to 3, so we put 3 here. Next is the year number, which is 2012. So 2012 falls between the bucket of 2000 to 2099, which is nothing but 6. Now add all these. 3 plus 2, 5, 14, 17, 23. So 5, 53. So what is the last step? As we know, they have asked for the day, we divide 53 by 7. 7, 7 is 49. So 4. So generally for a normal year, what do we do it? We take 4 and we find the corresponding number for that. So 4 is nothing but Thursday, we write it as Thursday. But here, the catch is, they have asked for a leap year. So what do we do? The same step we are going to do, Take 4, subtract it by 1, which is nothing but 3. So, 3 corresponds to nothing but Wednesday. So, 29th Feb 2012 falls on a Wednesday. So, it is the same step that we have followed for a normal year. Only minor change in the last step is that we are going to subtract it by 1. You can use the same method for any other leap year to find what day it falls on. Let's solve some other problems. So, the second sum is that what dates of May 2002 did Monday fall? So what does this question mean? They are asking that in 2002 May, what are the various dates in which Monday has fallen? So first, how to solve it? The first step is that, let's take, we are going to take the date, 1st May 2002. We are going to solve it in the usual method that we do. Take the last two digit of the year, 0, 2. Divided by 4, if we divide it by 4, we know obviously the quotient is going to be 0. Next is the date. Date is first, 0, 1. Next is the month number. So it's May. So May corresponds to 1. So you write 1. Year number. It falls 2002. 2002 falls under 2000 and 2099. So the number corresponding to it is 6. So 2 plus 3, 4, 10. So what do we do similarly? We have to divide it by 7. So reminder is 3. So 3 is nothing but we know it's Wednesday. So, 1st May, 1st May 2002 falls on a Wednesday. So, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, for example. So, 1st falls on a Wednesday, 2 is on Thursday, 3 is on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and 6th is on Monday. So, the question they have asked for is Monday. So, the 1st Monday falls on for May is on 6th. So, we know that 6th is definitely a Monday. How to find the other days? It's very simple. You have to just add 7 to it. So 6th, 13th, 20th, 27th. So these are the various dates that will fall on Monday on May 2002. So how do they give the options here? They will give you four different dates for in all the four options and they will ask you to find the correct one. So how did we do this? First, take the first of some month, whatever the month that they have given, you follow the usual procedure. Then just Put the 7 days of the week and then goes to the pertaining to the day that they have asked. Then you can add just 7 to it and find the rest of the other days. This is how you have to do this sum. Let's solve another sum. So the next sum is a very simple sum. So what, what is the question? Today is Monday. After 30 days, what day it will be? So it's very simple that they are given 30 days. You know how to find a day. It's nothing but divided by 7. 7 fours are 28. So 2. So the reminder is 2. So today, let's, today is Monday, so add plus 2, so the next day is Tuesday, then it's Wednesday, so after 30 days, it will be Wednesday, this is how you have to solve this sum, they will ask the same question with different days, it will be the same method that will be following for every other sum, let's solve another sum, so the next question is, 
Jan 4, 2016 falls on a Monday. So what day of the week does Jan 4, 2017 lies? So if you have seen our calendar first part video, it would have been discussed about the odd days in a normal year and a leap year. So in a normal year, we have one odd day. In a leap year, we have two odd days. So this is going to be the basic for solving this sum. So what they have given? So Jan 4, 2016. We know 2016 is a leap year. So it falls on a Monday. So Jan 4, 2016 falls on a Monday. So Feb will be falling on 2016 where you will have an extra two days because it's a leap year. So it will be plus two here. So obviously the Jan 4, 2017 following that year will definitely fall on Monday plus 2 which is nothing but Tuesday then Wednesday. So Jan 4, 2017 will fall on a Wednesday. So this is because we took as a leap year. Let's take a normal year. What do you do it? The same day will take it and you will do plus 1. So if it's a Monday, then it will fall the next year on Tuesday. If it's a Thursday, then it will fall on a Friday. So this is the difference between the normal year and the leap year. So in this video, we discussed about how to solve uh, leap year sums and as well as uh, the other basic sums that you might find in a calendar problems. So in upcoming videos, we'll also solve much tougher problems in the calendar topic. So if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.